welcome to my channel today. I'm Tara with Piece of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me. So today I am going to be showing you uh, the technique that I will be teaching at PORCON, August 6th through the 9th in Las Vegas. So basically the these two here um, are what you're gonna see being made today. Um, and this is the pearl cell technique. Uh, I have been tweaking again my recipe. If you watch me, you saw that I kind of came up with a new recipe recently with the Vallejo Pearl Medium, which is ungettable right now. So I'm back to the drawing board. I have completely cut out Artist Loft white, Apple Barrel white, and Liquitex Titanium white from this recipe and replaced all three of those with Blacrylic Economy um, Student Paint, uh, their Titanium White. And uh, I've kind of pared down my recipe also with um, taking away the GAC 800 and the Liquitex Pouring Medium and combined them into just the Golden Color Pouring Medium uh, and in the gloss that is, and, um, still using Floetrol and, and these, I used a mixture in the, in the darker sections here. Um, I used, uh, the satin enamel, uh, from Bare Satin Enamel 7300 Deep Base and tinted it myself. And then in the white sections, oh, here we go. White sections for the white pearls. I use deco art, uh, satin enamel and pure white. So all the new recipes will be listed in the description box below. I really like it. It's, it turned out really, really well. And I'm so happy to not have to use the artist left and the apple barrel anymore. So, um, I really hope you guys like this video. Please, if you do like share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you haven't heard about PORCON and you want more information, I'll leave the link in the description box below, but it's www.porcon.com. Uh, it is in Las Vegas. It is a really cool um, event that is going to be um, featuring 22 different artists from eight different countries, all converging in Las Vegas for in-person classes. Um, it is uh, an all-inclusive price uh, for all. You get to pick seven classes. You get three lunch and learns. Uh, you get a uh, intro party and a wrap party. I'll be teaching the All Things Pearls, which is this technique here, and also Advanced Pearl. So I really hope to see you guys there, uh, and I will get to the painting now. Okay, so that's Finny. These are the shenanigans that happen when my husband visits the studio. But um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do the pearl cell technique. Um, this is with the white and the colored pearls. I will be teaching this technique at PORCON. So I wanted to give you guys a preview of exactly what you guys will be getting. And if you haven't um, signed up for PORCON and you're wondering what classes will be like, this is my All Things Pearls class. So you're basically gonna learn how to make pearls. And I did have an easier recipe that I did come up with with the Vallejo Pearl Medium. And it is unfortunately not available at all and who knows when it will actually be available again so i went back to the drawing board i do not want to have to use artist loft uh, soft body titanium white from liquitex and apple barrel which is what i've been having to use just to make my pearls look decent uh, so i have been kind of experimenting these um you saw that when I started this painting, after you saw Finley, of course, uh, you saw that 
I had scraped and you see a lot of drips on my table, it's because I am experimenting and experimenting with different ratios of uh, this um, base coat. And I've finally found one that I really like. And in just one second, you're gonna see me totally <laughs> drop this. I'm telling you guys, I am so clumsy. Anyway, yeah, so there's huge streaks on this one but where my fingers actually went into the paint, but I just kind of rolled with it. I didn't want to have to scrape again because I just scraped one. And so I was just going to make do with what I was, what I had. So anyway, uh, I was just going to see how this one set up. Honestly, what I was really looking for in this one was like pearl structure and how the pearls were going to set up and if it was going to make a decent composition even though it looked a little crazy to start with but yeah I actually really liked it so I set that one aside I actually mixed up another mix um, with the same ingredients but trying to see if I could duplicate the uh, results because sometimes it's a fluke and so I wanted to make sure that I could duplicate it so that my recipes were decent and uh, that it wasn't just a fluke. So I went again on, these are both 16 by 20 canvases, by the way. Uh, and I am, you can see they're already starting to pearl over that turquoise over top of the white, which is fine. Uh, once I added the flip cups and stretched it out, they it repearled, so it was totally fine. All my cups are layered the same way as I had layered the first ones, except for in this one, I think I added the gold to the cup. I don't think I had the Modern Masters gold in the cup before. So just so you know that, that's a little bit of a change that I, that I changed on this one. So two flip cups, put a little Modern Masters gold in the center of the flip cups and I am going to let those go. So on the first one also, my parakeet, which is my uh, TLP pigment, I had left a little thinner. So on this one, I let it stay, I thickened it up just a tad and I'm really liking how it's showing in this one. Uh, this one turned out really pretty. I wish I could have kept it as it was, but of course you got to stretch the paint and I don't know, I had some goobers here in, in my paint and so I had to make sure to get those out so I don't end up with weird smudgy pearls. So of course part of the pearl recipe is that you stretch, stretch, stretch uh, over top of the base coat. Once you see the pearls popping through, I always kind of stretch in other directions. And um, honestly, lately I haven't been worrying too much about wonky pearls. I'm not a big fan of wonky pearls, but these aren't too wonky. Once they start setting up, uh, they actually turn out okay. So I'm okay with it. Really love this one. I love that part in this, well, we're getting to it right there on the right hand side of your frame. Uh, I love that little kind of a vortex look. I love this part here too, where the gold and the turquoise and the prey night, or not prey night, the parakeet are all mixing. Yeah, that part right there I think is very cool. I don't know, I really love that. And uh, the pearls actually turn out pretty cool in this one. So I was really happy at the results. Uh, I just was ecstatic that I don't have to use the Artist Loft and the Apple Barrel and the Liquitex just to get the results that I want. Uh, these turned out really well and the dry results on them actually look like a diptych. So I thought, well, I'm just gonna put them together as a diptych because they look really cool together. So the drying on these was perfect. I didn't get any whirl, weird chalky pearls. They all dried very nice. And um, I do credit having the 
golden color pouring medium in there uh, as a binder so that number one the pearls don't swallow up all the paint and number two so that the drying of this is nice and you don't end up with chalky funky looking pearls that um yeah that are they're undesirable for me anyway uh, but yeah these turned out so good so I'm really happy with this recipe I think sometimes people use the um, like either artist loft by himself with just um, water and uh, paint and I feel like the pearls get swallowed up with that and you just don't get the the quality of pearls in my opinion this is just for me you guys other people get great results but for me I feel like the quality of my pearls are so much better when I use um, good quality materials so you guys can let me know what you think in the description or in the um, the comments below and hope to see you guys at PoreCon if you can make it Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.